Guys, Don't. guys, what? What? let's do the wave. Okay. That was no. really dumb. The wave with what? Oh. Ooh. How cool did that look? <laughs> Stupid Rex, the units of Corbin. Maya! Ashley! Alexis! Rick! And you can follow us on Instagram yeah. and Twitter! Oh, juicy content. It's so juicy. Stir the pot, everyone. Mm. Stir the pot of juice. Stir mm. that juice. Mm. Stir it. Don't touch the back. Juice. It's gonna fall on us. Oh my. I didn't do that. Don't touch the juice. 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 We are not eating food, but we are watching food. Oh, I can almost smell it. <laughs> it was onion, sir. I hope you're hungry. I am. Oh, I'm so so hungry. Because you're still going to be hungry after watching this. Say what? This one's Try called India Mega Food. Oh, no. Record breaking dosa, Ooh. 250 egg omelet, and more in Mumbai. Who could eat that? Oh, I, I could. Gosh. 250 <laughs> eggs. I could eat 250 eggs. Everybody Here we go. Maybe he's going to put down the onion and tomato, and he's going to kind of push them out, and then he's going to crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. I mean, if you're going to cook for a lot of people at once, this is the way to do it. Come by. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure. This time we are in Mumbai, India. Yeah, the teen of the universe. This city is home to some of the most giant ideas that I have ever seen. Today we are hunting down some food on a scale like you have never seen before. I can't wait to try we're doing it big in Mumbai, India. Starting off with the world's biggest dosa. It's a little unwieldy. The world's most gigantic non-veg tali platter featuring over 45 items. Oh, jeepers. And finally, we will witness the creation of an omelet using 250 eggs. We are here in Mumbai, India, looking cool. for the biggest, Mumbai. baddest food, which has brought us now to Dakshinayan, where they're making the world-famous, world-record-breaking dosa. Let, let's go eat it. We're headed into the kitchen to see how this thing is made. Let's check it out. Right this way. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, this is here. Right now I'm in the kitchen with the chef, Sarvan. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Today he's making this giant dosa here, known as the family dosa. But today it's going to be made for a family of one. Right here. This guy. Let's do this. <laughs> this is freaking massive. That's like a meter long. I just realized some of you might not even know what a dosa is, so we're gonna jump to a different location and I'm gonna show you. Oh. We are at this street side dosa stand where they're making just a huge, crazy variety of dosa, one of which I'm about to get. A dosa is like a kind of crepe, but made okay. with finely ground rice and lentil flour batter. It can be served plain like the giant dosa we're about to try, or with an endless variety oh. of topping combinations. Do you want shredded beetroot? Yes. Go ahead. How about potato? Yes. We can do that too. Or how about American chop suey dosa? Maybe. Let's see what that is. <laughs> so right away, he's going to come with the batter. Then some cabbage, spring onion, onion. Oh, this thing is loaded up. But so far, so good. And then the nudes. We're dropping tomatoes. <laughs> tomato sauce. Szechuan <laughs> sauce. Red chili powder. Uh, garlic masala. Salt. Uh, tomato chutney. Oh and a cow. heaping scoop of butter. And that's oh. what I like to see. A lot of butter on, on almost everything I've seen here. It's amazing. Yes. All this random stuff that I've like together yeah. is going to taste amazing. Let's ask these guys over there. Buddy up. Oh, yeah, you. all right. It's bubbling up. You can see the little bubbles oh, in slow motion right man. now. It's making you hungry. You're it's salivating. Like You're clicking the like button. You're subscribing. <laughs> this is the most important part here. Yeah. Nice. Well done. A flip oh. and a Ooh, chop. And he's going to pop that all right here. Okay. And from there, a couple sauces. We've got a coconut chutney I love and some sauce. Sauce. And just like that, thank you, sir. <laughs> wow, that looks tasty. Glorious. Oh I'm cutting it up with a spoon, getting a nice no, big shoe. And we our coconut chutney hot? here, one of my favorite oh, chutneys of all the chutneys. Here. Let's try it out. Mmm. Yup. Yo. 
Buddy Ong. Yeah, buddy. Buddy oh. Ong. Very nice. But that is a storm of a heartburn. I could actually <laughs> top this with some Pepto-Bismol, and then it would be a perfect balance. The flavors are outstanding. Tomato-y, peppery, and that dosa is like nice and kind of soft, bready, a little bready, a little crunchy on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. So now that we know what a dosa is, we're gonna go back and see the giant dosa. And now we're back. So that's what a dosa is, and this is a huge version of that right here. He's gonna be curling this. Now he's just slathering it with a bunch of butter. That's my favorite. Yes, he is. Is. Okay, so now he's, he's rolling it up. Oh, what a move. This thing is like a meter long. He just rolled up the whole thing. Okay, this is the really sensitive part. It requires yeah. two plates. I'm following it looks that guy. Really fragile. Finally, yeah. this gigantic dosa. This is just the plain dosa, but we've had some nice different assorted dipping sauces here. Tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, onion chutney, yeah. and then here, this is kind of a stew. Sambar, maybe I can dip the whole thing. And this is probably the most <laughs> practical way. You gotta put it in a little bit of sauce. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> That's exactly what I would is do. Is this the right way to eat it? Mm -hmm. so How much is mm. it? That is terrific. Like I got some in my eyes. It's like a giant beef, but more crispy. Super buttery. Oh, he was giving some butter love to this thing. I just yeah. wish it's a little unwieldy. It's kind of hard to hold. I don't think you're supposed to do it like that. I don't think so either. You're supposed to share it with somebody. Okay. That's so good. Either end. All right. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was satisfying. Put some it's rice in that. Thick dose, uh, you have to be careful with the chutney. Once in a while, you'll get one that's just like fewer garlic, and it'll it'll choke you out. Oh, it's very nice. Oh. Light, refreshing, creamy, garlic. coconut. Me too. I don't get it. It would so stink like garlic for days. <laughs> I'm gonna keep working on this, but let's go check out some more giant food, huh? Okay. <laughs> Up, the biggest tali you will Don't find in Mumbai. What is I Our mission need continues that. looking for the hugest food here in Mumbai. Mean, it's like with our first now video. Mini Punjabi with a side breakfast lap. Where they are making oh. the can't the get it here. Thing, I know. Tali. tali literally means platter. But when you order the tali here, you get a gigantic assembly of different thing. cups, bowls, oh, yeah. plates of all kinds of different foods all together. Okay. Let's go inside and learn more about it. This oh. place the has food bloggers yeah. knocking down their doors. But I was oh. lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look with the man who created this magnificent beast. Right now we are the kitchen with Nishan, the creator of the giant tali, which is actually called the... The Dara Singh Thali for you guys. Can we talk about the Dara Singh Thali? Our giant Dara Singh Thali is basically a 26 to 28 inch Thali, mm -hmm. which comes with more than 40 items, 45 to be precise. We've covered different cities, okay, from the northern region, mm -hmm. which is like Amritsar, uh, Delhi, Rajasthan, and we get the favorite dishes from those cities. Our mm -hmm. head chef here That's is preparing cool a more Muslim rice. It's basically steamed rice mm -hmm. with a particular name. Oh, so more Muslim. So he's just adding the chicken oh, pieces as you see, along with the spices. Is that you're not a native. Plate of steamed rice, along with the mulai as a gravy with chicken pieces served on top. This whole portion will be on the butter. Yes, yes. Like this by itself already looks like it could be a whole meal. Definitely. If you can finish the entire platter, the thali, the normal Zara Singh thali, it's free. If I can eat the whole thing, yes, it's going to be free. Nice. But how many normal people can this feed? Around four people. Four. Take down the whole platter. Stick around to find out. Can we try this one now? Definitely. This is made fresh for our eyes. I cannot yeah, it's wait. Tasty. So we're gonna try some right now, right here in the kitchen. A lot of pressure. So we'll try some we'll tasty right chicken now. dinner. Are <laughs> you those guys over there? <laughs> hey, let's try it out. Oh, it's amazing. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. So How many people eat that with a spoon? Like the number of spices I like here. Okay. Me, that you would. So well I want some non eating my fingers. Flavor. So amazing. You can see right here. India just has such beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas everywhere you go, and especially right now in this kitchen. From here, we're going to see them assemble yeah. this giant tali. Like that. The assembly has begun, but you think when it's done, you think I'll be able to add that. I feel yes. Let's hope for the best. Okay. I see the hard like this. All right. Let's see. At first glance, and with an empty stomach, that a cocktail? taking down this platter in 20 minutes seems what? pretty doable. I mean, it's just some different breads, a bunch of curries, and they're all served in these tiny bowls. And there's the chicken and oh. rice and this. 
and this. I'm not feeling so sure anymore. They are right now putting the bread punches on the dolly downstairs in the kitchen. Corbin they loves waiting bread. I feel for like it's entrance. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> food? It's doing it. It's one. It requires two people. <laughs> He'll legit take a you slice of bread and just eat it. Got it? it? Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get out of your way. Oh, jeepers. I kind of want Indian food now. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That is nice. gorgeous. Oh, so the the main thing I gave you oh. was just to be able to sample a ton of different stuff, but it turns out <laughs> this is also a food challenge. It's 1,600 rupees, so it's coming in just under $25. That's really like a pretty good value to me. <laughs> yeah. And if you I'm gonna get cry. the whole thing, and that could be your whole family. The only catch is you have to do it bucks in under 20 minutes. We paid that for That's for one person in Los Angeles. E easy. The rice here, the rice is the main issue. And then here, there's like another clay pot for Yeah, they would charge at least a hundred dollars. Oh, oh yeah, that was here in LA. We had at the least lamb, Which would be curry, comparable yogurt. to 7,000 rupees. Lamb. I love curry, I love yogurt. I never had all those things together, but it's about dang curry time. And so let's see oh, how much so damage I can do in 20 minutes starting right now. So you already lost two seconds. Uh, and if you're like me, I didn't even know what mutton was until I came here. Oh, and so lamb meat is nice called lamb. And lean. Nice and lean. It's lamb so is called a sheep Stop and it's meat is called mutton and it's gonna go in my mouth. I bet it's delicious. That's delicious. It's been ah. dirty already. I haven't done anything. So here we have a mint chutney with coriander too. We're gonna put our I wouldn't want there. to rush it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't want to rush that. Oh, wow. No I way. Fresh, I mean, salty, and, and then this yeah. is, um... Take two hours to eat that thing. It's just like drinking yogurt. Oh my God. How could anybody <laughs> rush this meal? I can't, I yeah, just want to exactly. enjoy everybody. I do want to try my favorite kind of yogurt here. Of course, it is the lamb curry yogurt. Let's try that out. Oh, that's tremendous. It's like a little <laughs> lamb what is meatball it? in there. Am I almost done? Lamb yogurt? Yeah. Never had it. From lamb milk. Oh, milk. here we have some fried fish. That's glorious. It's looking a little spicy. Oh, fried fish. Let's find out. Fish fried. Mm. Thank God we washed it down with some yogurt. We've got some delicious fish right here. They have every Thank kind God. of it's curry it. here, except for steak curry. Is this, what is this? What is this? <laughs> hot dog curry? Just kidding. If I made curries, I'd make a, a hot dog curry. <laughs> Five minutes have gone by. Oh, we're getting there. We're really, we're almost done. Uh-huh. Is that a cocktail? What is that? Somebody made a drink out of cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> that huge cast iron pot. He wasn't only cooking the bread in there, but he put also oh. inside the chicken. We're gonna put some of the chicken in this chutney now. Oh. Chicken chip. Oh, Wrap that powerful. I need to chase it. Cut it with some rice. Okay, this is a soup, chase but it's in a rice. cup and you can drink it. That's the best soup drink I've ever had. Here they have white butter. I just want to try the butter. Yeah, eat it. It's so creamy. It's almost like yes. cheese flavored butter. Mm. We're gonna put some of this green curry on there. Slap it all together. Oh, oh man. man. It's rolled up. Food gasm. Burrito. Mm. Dip that into the yogurt. Oh my oh, word. Oh, really tasty. Tasty. Butter chicken, onion, That's green tasty. chutney. You gotta combine it all together. <gasps> oh my God. Almost done. Chicken biryani. Here we go. Oh, oh, eat it all. So Amazing. good. It's so fragrant. We gotta, we gotta it's pick delicious. up speed. Oh, Put the yogurt here, sauce on they that. have pickled oh. chicken, guys. They pickled, pickled the chicken. chicken. This is bread right stuffed with potato. Oh yeah, let's try this. Pickled chicken. I want to try. Wow, that is delicious. You gotta drink some yogurt with though. Look at this. This yeah. bread. They're stuck with it's potato. potato bread. already like yeah, half a kilogram bread. itself. Oh, there's so much I haven't even tried bread. yet. But with the bread. What is this? <laughs> oh man, I'm full. The crunchy <laughs> 17.30. It's almost over. Hey, thank God they have a time limit because I want to die already. So here we have kichidi, a mix of lentil, rice, and vegetables. This and a little rice is already a meal. We've had a lot of this. This is just better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's like savory. That's like comfort food. This comfort food is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm very full. We have one minute remaining. We're still in the game, guys. Look at that. This. There's a lot of food. I'm going to try some of, with the rice here. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's very filling too. I try almost everything now. I have some more fish. Good bread. A little bit of chunky. Quick bit of That's it. I can't do it. 20 minutes has gone by. Now listen, I thought this was maybe possible when I just saw these little bowls of stuff. Oh, what is this? Is this more food? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thanks, but I also want to die right now. Is oh, this part of the dessert. challenge? Oh, oh it's, 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 I like that they thought I would even get close to finishing this. Well, listen, um, we gave it our best nice. try. <laughs> and so always remember, chase your dreams. Oh. Next time you are in Mumbai, why don't you come to Punjab Lakeside to try this whole feast. We're doing that. We're doing that. So even if you fail, you still have enough food to bring home and eat for the rest of the week. That's not bad. The end. Do it anyway. For today's 
last stop, we're hunting down an Indian mega box. Oh. We came to our final location, <laughs> and here they're making a gigantic, basically like an Indian scrambled eggs. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, tomato, onion, and it's like, well, what's so special about this? Well, oh, I don't know. There's going to be over 250 eggs in this box. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so this is going to be our last stop. We're hunting down an Indian mega box. Cooked at one time on the skillet right here behind me. The prep is underway. They're cutting onions, wow, they're cutting onion. tomatoes. Oh. We're going to go inside and see exactly how it's done. They chomp on. My man right here, cutting Seriously, onions. No bobbles, no protective <laughs> anything, and no tears. This is a, a real man. Oh, God. How do you do it? This is a real man. Sir, how do you do it with no tears? Can you ask him? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's just like, mm mm mm. No tears, not since 1984. <laughs> like Corbin. We asked him, why is he not crying? He said it's destiny. I like this guy. Tons of onions, like baskets of onions are going to be cooked and put into the eggs. That'll make you cry. He wasn't even looking. Did you notice that? So yeah. here we have the tomato cutting. In this room, in the kitchen, they have two giant skillets. And it's somewhere between like a wok and a flat top. It's called a tawa. And there's two of them here. As you can see, this is no small Whoa. cooking operation. Like. They go big here. So this is like 20 kilograms, like almost 40 pounds of onion. Whoa. And around 10 pounds of tomato. That's what I'm told. Yeah. And this whole thing is going to be for us. They just put in all these spices, chili powder. He continues to just mix it all together. There's some parts of the onion that hasn't even touched the grill. Thank you for having us here. Nice to meet you. Look at that beer. Oh, this is the owner of the shop. What is this one called? And he's cooked down the onion and tomato, and then he's going to crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. That is some mad egg cracking skills. Yeah. One handed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can you get it? Can you get it? <laughs> ah, that egg was tricky. I know. The first, like, maybe 30% of the eggs are in here. And he has That's started awesome. scrambling them together with some of the onions and tomatoes. There's still that like ring on the wow. outside keeping everything in. He's created this natural bowl, and I believe he's gonna put in even more eggs now. Yeah, oh, round two. Can I crack one egg? Can I just want to say that I helped. That's all. I basically made it myself. Ta da! Oh, again? Gotta try one hand. <laughs> Bam! Yes! Look at this, it looks ridiculous. Time to destroy the beauty. After the first step is done, he starts mashing Hungry smaller Micah. portions of eggs. He then adds more butter, spring onion, and spices. You can just smell the fumes coming off here, singeing thy nostrils. Then more mashing Bye. with well, fresh thanks. cilantro. Finally, it's a moment I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. But the eggs aren't complete without some buttered buns. Oh. We were just in that kitchen for about 30 minutes right. during that whole preparation. I I my eyes are, are still watering oh, a little man. bit from all the spices and onion, but it was so all worth it because we have Indian this complex, job. yet simple, wonderfully executed scrambled eggs I've ever seen. I'm gonna try it with just the eggs first. The scrambled egg? Yeah, basically. 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 Oh, oh, scrambled oh, eggs, oh. onions, tomato, yeah. and seasoning. That is, that makes me happy in my mouth. <laughs> Super salty and spicy. These are some of the spiciest scrambled eggs I have ever had. He I fried and buttered this bread day. for me. That's really how you're supposed to eat this. You just scoop up some of these pieces uh, of egg. Look at that. You can see the chilies in there from the yeah, oil. You're right. The butter, all of it coming together. <laughs> that, right I'd wake up for breakfast for that every day. I can make Gross. I would legit I need that. Those that spices is amazing. That, you know, it's kind of a simple thing. You know, it's simple whole foods, it's eggs, it's scrambled eggs and bread, but the seasoning and the, and the carrot love and skill that went into it, love. it makes it super special. And the butter. Um, crazy delicious. All I can say no, is tasty. Oh, so good. So good. Oh Thank you. My so much for watching this video. Woo. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Friday Trip Vietnam company Shadow putting on amazing great shadows by John Dene and Man. Wow. Oh my. Is anybody goodness. not hungry? I want to get lunch now. Well, yeah, good. but now the problem is I'm hungry, but I want that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not getting that here. Ugh. That's no, what I, I've seen that. I, I heard it as a mukbang. Maybe there's different names for it. Uh, <laughs> but that thing with all the different dishes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen that before, but it's really difficult to find. You definitely can't get it to go. So, <laughs> no, that's for sure. No. Um, but man, we will definitely try that when that we come to Mumbai. That looks so good. Oh. That was actually one of the best episodes. Yeah, that was everything in there. That was a fantastic episode. Um, wow. How was it, Michael? Is that Matthew McConaughey? What are the
<laughs> that looks nothing yeah. like him. Wow. Not that person. That dude right yeah. there. That's from this angle. Nothing like him. Over here, it looks like him. Because you're blind. It does kind of. Thank you. What was your favorite uh, food? Oh. oh. Yeah, if you had to pick one of those things that you were going to try, I would I would pick the big thing. The big, oh, the big thing. The yeah, big sure. Thing. Probably, yeah. The bread. <laughs> the chicken Garlic banana. naan. I am obsessed. He did the, the butter banana. chicken and the chutney and the oh. all in the naan and then the rice. And he put the yogurt with it, the rice and the chicken. It looks so good. <laughs> it's like hallucinating. Yeah. Yeah. Might need to get some Indian food for uh, for lunch. Uh -huh. Even though it won't it won't satisfy this no, craving. Not exactly uh, the same. Not because close. this is American Indian food. But ah. Uh, Me. Hey, it was good. A lot of it was good when we tried it. That's true. It's I mean, I think it's great. It's probably not, not like that. in comparison. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, wow. Wow. What are you shaking your head about? <sighs> I want that and I shouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs>